Book One, Jetta says sorry. Written by Janelle Charrington, and illustrated by Robin Cuddy. It was Animal Week. All week, the class would learn about animals. Miss Carrington asked each child to bring in a stuffed animal. Emily Elizabeth went first. She had a funny little puppy. It had a red body, floppy ears, and a big happy smile. It looks like Clifford when he was a puppy, Emily Elizabeth said. Jetta went next. This is my pretty bunny Lily. She began. As you can see, she has pink, fluffy ears. She has a really puffy tail. And she has a basket for candy. Charlie went last. He had a stuffed monkey. It was old and ripped, but it had a happy face and a soft, floppy body. Most of the class liked the monkey, but Jetta said, "Why did you bring that? It looks messy." And ripped. It is old, Charlie said. It was my mom's. Charlie seemed sad. You hurt his feelings, Emily Elizabeth said. I did, Jetta said. But I didn't mean to. What can I do? You can say you're sorry, Miss Carrington said. When Charlie came back, Jetta said she was very, very sorry. What I said was not nice, she said. Your monkey is cute. Thanks, Charlie said. Charlie felt better, and so did Jetta. Book two, Toad in the Boat, written by Donna Taylor, and illustrated. By Steve Huffelli. Clifford helps Emily Elizabeth make a castle and a moat. The boat can float in the moat. Vaz comes by and says, "Hi, I have a toad." He was hopping near the road. He's nice," says Emily Elizabeth. Vaz puts the toad on the sand. A foamy wave gets Vaz wet. The toad gets wet too. He hops into the boat that floats in the moat. The toad puffs his throat to croak. Croak, croak, croak. He likes the boat, says Emily Elizabeth. Croak. 
Croak, croak, says the toad. His throat gets so big when he croaks, Vaz says. Let me snap a picture of the toad in the boat. But here comes a wave. Where is the boat? Where is the toad? Vaz moans, my toad. Clifford finds the boat. He finds the toad, too. Emily Elizabeth makes a new castle. Vaz digs a new moat. Croak! <laughs>